Hey everybody, it's Gavin back again from uh, lovedroid.com and today I've got a little screen protector here um, kindly sent over by uh, Pro Porter, so thanks very much for guys at Pro Porter for getting this over to me to review um, come in the post today uh, and it is, I'll just pull it out for you there you go Pro Porter antibacterial screen protector, kills 99% of all germs for all you people out there that have uh, OCDs on your uh, phone cleanliness and uh, hygiene, this is a protector, screen protector for you. Um, as you can see down here again, it's got the little 99% of germs that are killed. For the Samsung Galaxy S2, uh, I have my Samsung Galaxy S2 here, so we're going to have a go, taking a look and having a putting it on and fitting it, seeing how it works. Um, so it's basic, basic sort of packaging, quite simple. And we'll just peel it open here and see how we get on here. Okay, I'll just pop this down, move my phone out for a minute. Okay, it's Pro Porter. There we go. There's some fitting instructions, and this would be our screen protector. Oh, and we get a nice little screen cloth here. Don't know if you can see. Uh, use me to clean your screen, Pro Porter. Thanks very much, Pro Porter. That's quite a nice little thing, actually. I was just thinking to myself, I probably should clean my screen before I put this on. So perfect, ideal. Okay, we'll just remove this bit, remove our packaging, so here is our protector, uh, as you can see, hopefully, if I, no, there we go, so here's a cut out at the bottom, which would be obviously for your home button, and then there's another cut out at the top there, for your um, speaker, uh, and just behind here, is another cut out, can you see that, yeah, and that would be most likely for your front facing camera. So we'll just put that to one side and have a quick look at the instructions that comes with it. Oops, sorry. So, we've got, uh, give your screen a quick wipe uh, with a cloth and remove smudges. And then remove the plastic backing and line up the edges of the screen protector with your screen. This is where I'm going to get it totally out of line. Smooth the screen protector in pl into place using the card. Um, to iron out the bubbles. Ah, so that is what this card is for. Okay, and you can save 20%. Goes Pro Porter. There we go. Just to remove bubbles. So you would literally use this sort of motion, pushing the bubbles out. Hopefully, I'm not going to get too many bubbles, but we'll see about that. So, here's my phone. If I just zoom in a little for you, just get a bit of a close picture. There you go, right. So, if I just give my screen a quick wipe over with the provided cloth from Pro Porter, which I think is quite handy. You sort of, you know, there's so many pe cheaper companies, or you know, not necessarily cheaper, but companies without the quality will just sell you, you know, the, the screen protectors for, you know, a really rock bottom price, but they're rubbish, you don't get anything with it, um, you know, things like this. Once you've stuck that on, you know, you could have smudges, everything underneath it, and you really don't want that. Um, so, what we need to do now, I don't know if you can see, but we've got little stickers, just wait for it to zoom in a sec, hopefully, is it going to zoom or not? This is number two. Oh, there we go. Peel me off for on the bleh. peel me off second. Okay, so obviously we need to peel off the other side first. Uh, here we go. Peel me off first, which is the side that's going to stick to the screen. So we'll peel that one off first. Um, and you're going to have to bear with me a minute while I try my best get it, to get this straight, because I don't really want a wonky screen protector on my phone. So bear with us for two seconds. Um, hopefully you can see while I'm attempting this task. 
Now I've never been too good at fitting these, um, but it's nice to see that Pro Porter have actually made it, um, you know, the right size. A lot of them you get these days, especially you know the cheap ones off eBay and places like that. They're just not the right size. They're too big or they're too small. They totally miss bits. Um, it's really frustrating. I'm just going to have to re do that slightly because I ended up going over my front facing camera which I don't really want to do. Third time lucky. Alright, should we go for a fourth time lucky then? It's harder than you think. It's getting that straight, straight edge. Okay, what we'll do is we'll try from the top first. Um, and then hopefully we'll get it perfectly lined around the camera, the speaker and the home button. That's not too bad. I'm happy with that. Now we use this little bit of bad boy, the bubble remover. So as you can probably see, we do have a few bubbles popping around in there. Um, this isn't too bad to remove. Keep the top cover on while we do this. Um, so we can start from, say, the top and just slowly work the bubbles out to the edge. And it's not going to hurt your phone, it's not going to damage anything. You know, this is what exactly what this tool's for. It just pushes the bubbles out so we don't have to have nasty bubbles on our screen. Because there's nothing worse than having these bubbles just popping around on your screen. Just slowly work them out. You don't have to be really harsh. You know, just gently push them out to the edges. Um, and once the air is pushed out to the edges, obviously, you know, it's not going to come back in. It's just a case of gradually working it out from the middle, probably, outwards to the closest edge from the bubble would be the easiest option. Um, luckily, I didn't have too many. Um, screen protectors I've used before I've ended up with loads and you just spend so long trying to get rid of them and it's just really frustrating. Um, just this little one here that doesn't really want to go. There we go. And it's gone. So, I'll just give it one last wipe over. We'll give it a, a fairly firm wipe over with a cloth again just to push out any edges. There we go. I'm quite happy with that. That's on there quite nicely, protecting my screen, which is what I want it to do. So now number two is all you need to do now is peel off. Ah, see, so you now you're going to have to be careful with this one because it's actually pulling the screen protector off. There we go. Once you get the edge off, you're fine. So you peel off the top layer. You can end up with more bubbles now. There we go, so the top layer is off and now our screen protector is fully functional. I have ended up with a couple more bubbles which I didn't really want but they're pushing out quite nicely just with the cloth here which is simple. There we go. And that, as you can see, I'm already moving my screen around. That is the protector on. Now. I don't know if, you, if this comes across on camera, but the vividness is still just as good. Um, it doesn't really block, you know, the, the sort of view of the screen. Um, and from the feel of it, you know, it's it's really responsive. There's no trouble. I'll just zoom out a little for you. There's no trouble at all with it responding to touch whatsoever. You know, it it's, does everything with ease. And in fact, I quite like this because it has that sort of slightly matted feel so that you know sometimes when you've got your really shiny screen and your your hands are maybe slightly sweaty, slightly clammy your, your sort of finger tends to get stuck on the screen a little so this sort of helps with that um, you know for moving your, your hand across the screen uh, and obviously it kills all your germs so you know t touch phones these days you're touching them continuously pretty much I wouldn't you know m my hands probably aren't clean all the time when I touch my screen and you know, health and safety and all that. So yeah, kills germs, 
looks good. Doesn't really affect the screen too much in visibility. Obviously, you know, you can expect a very small, small change, but for the expense of, of you know, saving scratching your screen, keeping it germ free, I think that is a really good product from Pro Porter um, and one of the better screen protectors I've seen um, in quite some time. So, thanks very much again to Pro Porter um, for sending that over. Um, that's a really nice protector, and to be honest, I'm quite happy with how easily it went on. Uh, it wasn't too bad, so thanks again for watching. Please share and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.